Hi everybody, um, this is Gabe Condon here. We're going to do a quick demonstration uh, about how to tune the guitar and some tips for how to do that. So what I like to begin with is the low E string. Um, so you can either tune that up with a tuner or with a piano um, or with a metronome like I have today. And um, what I can do on this metronome is actually tell it to play an E. Now this is a an E that's an octave higher, or two octaves higher rather than my low E string. So it actually matches my high E string. So I'll show you this right here. Okay, so I'll play my high E string. That's a little bit high, so I'm going to turn my uh, tuner down a little bit. Okay, that matches. So. If you can't tune the low E string to begin with because your tuner is up an octave or something, you could tune the high E string and then try to match your low E string to that. And oftentimes what I find helps, you can't quite hear if it's too high or too low. You can go really low, tune it way down, and then bring it up until you hear like they match. So that's a little tip. Tune it way down low and then tune it up to match whatever pitch. Now from here on out, we're gonna use uh, mainly the fifth fret of the string we just tuned, which is our low E string. And we're gonna tune that up with the next string, which is our A string, okay? And so I'm not using a pick right now, but usually you, know, you would use a pick in this instance, you know, with what we've been working on in class. So, Play your low E string, and then see if our A string is matching that. And it sounds pretty good. Okay, so we can move on. Same thing, matching, we'll play the string we just tuned, the, the A string. We'll try to match our D string to that. It sounds a little bit on the low side to me, but it's hard to tell, so I'm going to tune it down. Now you might have noticed as I tune, I'm going to play the string that I just tuned, which is the A string in this case, play the open string, and then as it rings, I'm going to adjust the, uh, the tune tuner here, okay? So um, that allows me to hear how much the string changes as I adjust it. And sometimes I even like to play the, the open string that I just tuned and kind of listen for that distance between the two notes. You don't have to do that. So here it go down and then come back up. Okay, that sounds good. So fifth string, fifth fret again. A little bit on the low side. I'm gonna tune it way down. here. Hmm, sounds good. Now here's the oddball. When we're tuning the B string, we just tune the G string. We had to move down to the fourth fret. So I was up on the fifth fret for all the rest of the strings. Now I need to shift down to the fourth fret. Doesn't sound bad, but let's just for practice, I'll throw it out of tune a little bit, tune it down. And then listen to it come back up. Sounds good. Then back up to the fifth fret for our last string, the open E string. And as you get more and more used to this, you'll be able to hear the um, distance between the strings. So you'll be able to recognize that distance between the D and the E string. It's called an interval. It's the interval between the two strings and just be able to hear that on its own. So a lot of times when I'm tuning the guitar now, I just listen for the intervals. And then when tuning up the, the B in the, or the G string, I usually will test that because that's a harder interval to hear. And then as I move um, down or we 
talked about ascending. So if I start at the bottom, listen for that interval, this interval, this interval, then using the fourth fret to tune here, and then listen for the interval at the top um, between the top two strings. So that method that I just described, listening to the intervals, is a, a bit more of an advanced method and perhaps not appropriate for everybody in the class. But if someone's a little bit more advanced and a little bit more experienced on a guitar um, or plays another instrument, perhaps that could be another way to tune. So anyway, um, but just remember that we're always matching the next string to the previous string on the fifth fret, except for when we're going up to the G string and tuning the B string. So we have our finger on the fourth fret this time on the G string as we tune the B string. Okay, hope that helps.